Howdy everyone, this is Locknuts, and you're watching episode 18 of the Smallin' and Ballin' series on Furlan. Hopefully you'll stick around to see what happens. doing today oh my goodness I tell you what I tell you what I am I'm feeling much better guys as you can tell I got the pipes back you betcha ready to rock ready to roll and as you can also see we're out here taking care of a little corn action you could say we're getting a little corny but uh, that might be a little corny in itself you betcha Oh, man, guys. So, how are you doing? Hopefully, everyone's doing all right. Oh, man. This is fun stuff. Fun stuff here. We got the corn all taken care of, or we're, we're working on getting the corn taken care of. Uh, one thing I'm going to do at the end of the field here. I don't know if I made the right call or not. Um, I upgraded this... Oops. Upgraded this trailer. And I'm not sure if I can actually get the pipe into here. Because I know when I had that cage on the end, well, if I don't smash into it, let's try this again. Let's try and be professional here, or as professional as I can. Okay, so it works. It's probably shouldn't be happening, but it is. Um, yeah, we went and we harvested the grass over here. We This, this field needed lime on it, so we went and limed it. Um, and rolled it along with the other two grass fields. We have the one up by the farm production cell point stall, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then the U-shaped one behind the farm. Got them all rolled up, got that stuff all taken care of. So, uh, had a lot of stuff, got a lot of stuff done. Uh, actually worked late into the night. I haven't, I'll be honest with you, I haven't had to do that in quite some time here. So, uh, I was pretty stoked to... Uh, be able to get out there, turn the lights on, rock and roll. Oh man, it was absolutely fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Gotta love it. So, question. Question of the day. The Kabuto pack, Kabuta. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it. The newest DLC came out, I think it was uh, yesterday, two days ago, something like that. I think it was yesterday. Um, what do you think? What's your initial gut reaction? How do you feel about it? Is it all that and a bag of rice? Now, let me know what you think, because I have not played with it yet. I, I really, I have not. I have not done it. Uh, it's on here. We have the capability of utilizing that stuff. But uh, as for right now, we don't have any of that. Actually, speaking of which, let's come on here and take a look at... Oh, that's a little bit high on the horsepower. Nope. I'm thinking about this one. Now, bear with me here. I am thinking about this one. I know I got my trailer back over there. The problem is, is I this actually happened on the, the last episode. And uh, unfortunately, I was unable to... Well, I just stopped recording when this ended up happening. I had used my little truck, the Lock Nuts Mobile over there to go ahead and start um, pulling, I think it was soybeans or something like that, maybe it's canola. Uh, starting to go ahead and take care of the canola harvest and um, what ended up happening is because of the way that weight was distributed on that trailer, it actually made my truck do a wheelie, which is neat, but unfortunately when I wanted to stay upright and uh, do the little things that it needs to do. That's that's not very cool. So, um, I was thinking about potentially getting a different trailer. Now, I don't know if it'd be getting a different trailer or another trailer. I'm not sure how I want to go about doing that. I'm thinking probably getting another trailer because that uh, the trailer that we got down there at the end it actually works out very, very nice for... Uh, being able to stack all of the biodiesel in. 
Uh, it just is. I, I can't do anything about it. It just is nice. The way it has the sides to it, it really does work out very, very well. But I don't think that my truck can pull it when it's fully loaded. The other one has four wheels. Well, four wheels where you have four points of pressure. That one over there has the rear wheels and then the axle of the tractors. So the tractors are heavy enough to be able to plow along and handle things, but uh, my truck is not. So I think I may look at getting something different just for that particular reason. And I really was eyeballing up that, that discount one in here. This guy is 65% off. It holds an absolute ton. The only, my, I'll be honest with you, my only real concern of that is the size. You might be telling yourself, well, geez, that holds way more than what I got right now. Yes, I'm talking about the length. I think the length of that trailer is probably as long as this harvester. And in some areas on this map, that might not be very helpful at all. So I'm not sure how I want to go about doing that. It's on my radar. I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but it is there. And I'm ready to rock and ready to roll and to see what I'm going to end up doing in the future. Because I'm, I'm just as curious as you are, probably. I have no clue. No clue what I'm going to do. Not really. Um, but one thing I do know that I, I am going to start looking for, I, I really have been waiting. Um, waiting to get a tractor that's up over 150 horsepower. I've been waiting to get an implement that's up over 150 horsepower. And I was thinking about this the other day after, uh, I think it was when I was doing the editing for this last episode. What am I waiting for? What does it matter? I can have one tractor and one implement that are over 150 horsepower. Or not over 150 horsepower, over that 125 horsepower. So what's going on? Why am I not doing this yet? Why am I not jumping onto this and making it easier on myself to go about doing this? Well, it can be summed up in one word. I'm cheap. <laughs> they have not popped up on here. I've actually downloaded uh, quite a bit of mods that have popped up. Yeah, I have the whole Antonio Carrera pack, which they're pricey, but whatever. We now have the Kabuto, the Kabuta pack. That is kind of pricey. Uh, I have some other mods on here that are pricey, some that aren't. I already have one of these. I don't want to get two. Um, some are pricey, some aren't, but it's it, it really does come down to I'm cheap. I'm just waiting for something to go on sale. That way I can feel good about myself. I thought about this little Zeter getting that little bad mamma jamma to help out. I don't know. We might see that. We might see that because I am kind of feeling like we're starting to make enough progress here. We have enough stuff going on where it, we very well could run into a situation where we need another tractor. But, like I said before, that's kind of why I got that truck. To kind of fill that gap of a, a tractor that can run crops back and forth, that can run um, carts back and forth, to just be a good carton, carton tractor, carton truck. That was my thought behind it. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to end up happening with that. Like I said, going back to what I was saying before, comment down below. Question of the day. Let me know. What do you guys think of the Kabuto pack? Kabuto pack, I'm sorry. Correct me. Please spell it out phonetically for me because I keep screwing that thing up. And just let me know what you guys think. Personally, without playing it, just as a thought, I think it's great. I think it's great that we now finally have a pack that has a bunch of different things on there. It's not specialized towards just one thing. The Antonio Carrera pack specialized just towards um, doing vineyards and olives and stuff like that. Back on 19, you had like the Anderson pack. It was for bailing. You had the, the, the routine. I think I might be spelling that wrong or saying that wrong, but you had that. It was strictly for forestry. A lot of specialty packs. First one that I know of that I can remember that was made for everyone. And I think that's really cool. All gameplay style. So, like I said, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to keep on rocking with this. Get this cornfield taken care of. And all of this corn is going to 
yeah, it's going to go over to the moonshine. I had to think about that for a second. It's going to go over to the moonshine. What I'm not sure is if I'm going to buy a little bit of extra uh, crop products, whatever you want to say, to fill the moonshine, the stall production facility, shack, whatever it is that you want to call it. I don't know if I'm going to fill that up right now or if I'll wait till a little bit later on. I'm not 100% sure. All I know is we are super, super corny, and I am absolutely loving it. Perfect. Helper I has completed their task. That's awesome. Um, I did have helper over doing a little bit of weeding. Uh, they're weeding on this field here. I had to do a little bit of touch up, and they I sent them over to work on our next field. I actually just took our harvester and drove it right back over to field 14, which is that one field at the very lowest portion of the map. That small, skinny, long one. Um, it. It looks like that one's going to be ready to harvest pretty darn soon here as well. So I was kind of thinking about this. Um, I think for the moonshine, as of right now, I just took and put it into our shed. Because I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do with it. I'm sorry, the silo. I put it into the silo right there. I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do with it. Yeah, I just, I just don't know. So right now it's just sitting in there. Um, now what are you talking about? It's, it's, it's going for the moonshine, but the dilemma I'm running into right now is if I go ahead and think about this here, um, I have, well, let's, let's not even guess. Let's just check and see. Uh, I have fifteen thousand liters of corn in there. I had a little bit left over from a previous harvest. Uh, so that's not the total. I think I had 12,000 something or other. So bear that that in mind. Um, that's how much I have in there right now. I could go ahead and put that into the moonshine. Um, oh, that's right. I got to take care of the water. Uh, but for some reason, this is just. I'm thinking, do I go ahead and throw all of it in here and then just get a little bit of barley or something? I, I don't know. I really just don't know how I want to go about doing that. Hopefully time will tell. I don't know. Now this thing here with the water, I'm not sure if I'm doing something incorrect because I actually tried doing this before and it would not allow me to bring any water into it. It was telling me that it's not accepted. Water's not accepted here, which makes absolutely no sense at all I, I don't really get that one but uh we'll just see if it uh oh okay so now it's gonna ooh, that's right i forgot this thing's heavy so now it's gonna let me do that okay so i guess i'll go ahead and i'll take care of a little bit of this water here and um yeah we'll take a look at this here though um so we got all of this here. The soybeans we're still doing good on. We're making uh, we're making good cash. Uh, well, not as of yet. We're not making good cash. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll fill that all the way up as far as it'll go, just so I don't have to do it again for a while. Um, but you take a look at the soybeans. We're making through the sto soybeans. We're doing pretty good. We actually have quite a bit of soybeans in storage as well. Uh, but actually, you know, you go ahead and think about that. That really only comes out to end up being two trailers and that's it Th this trailer is full it's ready to go it's just prices have not been good so i'm just letting it sit there i'm hoping to do one big massive sale and go from there I, at least that's kind of what i'm my intentions are i don't that's close i don't know if that's exactly how we're gonna go about doing it but that's at least my intentions um on a on a lighter note kind of off topic a little bit here uh, one of the things that I've been doing here is I've been streaming a multiplayer, a community multiplayer, and I figured I'd go ahead and take an opportunity and mention it to you guys. 
Uh, I do stream on Twitch, which you'll see a link down to the bottom of the description. Um, I stream on Twitch. And one of the things that I've been doing a lot recently, we've been going pretty hardcore on this, is that I am... Hey, I have a, a server open to the farm sim community, my community. Anybody who wants to come in and join, they're more than welcome. And we've been going ahead and rocking and rolling on Riverview Farms. I tell you what, it's 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 way different than this map. Way different than this map. This map, I guess, for all intents and purposes, is a, an incredibly flat map compared to that one. It's got elevation changes. It's got all this stuff in here it's it's really neat it really is kind of neat and i want to open up my open up the invitation um if you guys want to come on and join in on the action you guys are all more than welcome um i also have a link down there to a description or in the description is a link to my discord i'm actually going to go ahead and remove that sign get that out of the way here um and in there you guys can go to the multiplayer info area uh mp info i think is what i have it called and in there is all the information you guys need to hop on join in on the action and if you're worried about it or anything like that don't be because we're using 100 percent cross-platform friendly mods just so that everyone can go ahead and join in it it doesn't matter uh i just like i said i figured i open up the invitation um, I'm actually halfway thinking about, uh, there's a couple things I'd like to go ahead and do and potentially talk about and showcase on that. I'm thinking about doing a little bit of recording on that and, uh, putting it up here on YouTube so you guys can kind of see what ends up happening on there. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of neat. It really is kind of neat. There's something about playing multiplayer with other people. I think I've probably talked about this before and everything, but there... There really is something about playing with other people here on the game. You get that opportunity to interact, to socialize, to do all these different things that you don't normally get to do, and it is a heck of a lot of fun. I, I get a lot out of it. It's pretty darn neat, I'd say. Um, and I don't know if you guys have tried it. If you have tried to go ahead and play uh, with other people on uh, this game multiplayer what do you guys what do you guys normally like to do when you do that do you guys like to play just as everybody on the map you know just kind of sitting around playing you're all kind of doing your own little thing but you're all on the same map talking chat doing things like that or do you guys like to kind of play together whether it's uh, you're all on the same farm or you, you group up and a couple people are on a farm here, a couple people are on a farm there. I don't know. I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys normally go about doing. I always think it's kind of neat. I know I've asked the question before, but I like to ask it again because it's, it, it's kind of neat to see what people like to go about doing. And I guess what map are you guys playing on with that, doing your multiplayer? I always like finding out what other people are doing, other people are playing how they go about doing it. It is pretty darn neat. It is pretty darn neat. Um, so I think out on this field over here, our new field, uh, I'm drawing a blank on the number of it, but on this new field over here, I think we'll go ahead, we'll get this thing all plowed up. Uh, I may even actually get the other tractor since it's supposedly done weeding. I may get that one out here to have it start plowing and then me come behind with this tractor and the bucket, pick up all those stones. I kind of come up to my conclusion what I'm going to do with those stones. I think I'm going to sell them off on the last episode. That way we can say, you know what, this is all the stones that we've picked up on this map. Take it in, cash it in, buy a lollipop. I don't know. <laughs> We're not going to get much off of it, but I think it'd be kind of neat just to go out there and uh, give it a, a good old, hey, here you go, this is what we've done so far sort of thing. So, um, like I said, guys, I'm going to go ahead. I'll get this all plowed up. We'll get things ready to rock, ready to roll. Um, and we'll just keep on moving forward. See how things turn out. See what ends up happening. I think I may have to get the other tractor. It has the front weight on. Yeah, I think I'm going to go grab that other tractor. It, it has the front weight on it. So it'll be able to take care of this a lot easier. Uh, like I said, I'll get this plowed. Probably planted it. 
planting it. Uh, I'm going to go with barley on it just because it's the other ingredient we need for our um, moonshine. Got to have it. So that's what I'm going to be taking off and taking care of. Uh, I will catch up with you guys. I don't know. I really don't know. At some point. Let's just stick with that. At some point, I'll catch up with you guys. Just going ahead and finishing up with the rolling for our field. Um, I did actually remember, surprisingly, I did actually remember to plant barley. So hopefully, hopefully that should be what we end up getting here. Um, for some reason, I, I actually did hire a helper on this field for just a little bit while I was maneuvering vehicles around. And for some reason, the I, I heard it two helpers here they struggled a lot both of them missed a lot of areas on this uh this little section i'm taking care of right here for rolling it missed a little bit on the ends uh when i was running some stuff around while i hired someone to do some seeding they missed an entire section as well too i'm not entirely sure what it is um, comment down below, has anybody else played on this map and have had trouble hiring helpers on, I guess, this particular field? And we are on field two right now. Like I said, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, as for why I was having so many issues, it's not like the field has obstacles in it. Uh, I was far enough away from the edges that shouldn't have caused anything. I just... I just don't know. Let me see if I get all that. Yep, there we go. I did get all of it. Uh, it was just very, very odd. So, yeah, comment down below. Has anybody else run into that same issue? Um, yeah, weird. Just weird. So what I kind of started doing here is I kind of started... I can't attach. Um, getting everything set up on field 14. That'll be the next field we will end up being able to harvest probably tomorrow. Uh, at the very earliest, but uh, yeah, so instead of driving stuff to my farm, I'm just kind of prepping up there. One thing I am noticing, and I'm not really liking this at all, you probably can see on the front tires, it you're, you're having paint wear like it would on the rest of the vehicle, except it's on the tires, so actually it looks, it looks metallic. And I, I'm not I'm not liking that. Other than that, I, I haven't had too much of an issue with this tractor. It's just now, I don't know, that's bugging me. And I don't want to pay to repaint that. I guess comment down below. Has anybody actually ever repainted the tractor? You know, when you go to the maintenance, you have the opportunity to click repaint. Has anybody actually done that? I, I'm curious. I don't know if it actually does anything other than restores your paint and you don't have... All those nicks, scratches, love marks, whatever the heck it is that you want to call it. Does it really do anything? Or is it just 100% an aesthetic thing? Sorry, aesthetic thing there. Um, I don't know. I have no idea what it actually does, if it is just that or if it's something else. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Like I said, comment down below if you guys know what's up with that or if it's just for aesthetics. Um, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. It'd be neat if it actually played a role in things, but if it doesn't, well, it doesn't. Oh, man. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking about this here. Um, you know, we will have our next day coming up, and that'll be taking care of... Just a second here. I'm trying to concentrate. Talking is never... It's not really one of them, my strong points. Um, oh, I did take up one contract. Field 8. I figured it's a fertilizing contract. It's not going to take very long for me to go to go and hammer out. So let's just go do it right off the bat. Um, that one trailer on there, uh, that Rosh or Reich. Actually, which one was that? This guy, this Reich. Um, I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it because it currently it it only has just one level. Uh, how do I describe? Oh, yeah. It's, you can only customize it one way, and that is whatever it's at. I should say it's uncustomizable, which I know when it comes to trailers, you don't necessarily need it. It just needs to haul stuff from point A to point B. 
But I don't know. I, I just... With it being long and I can't change it to be able to be more functionable, I just, uh, I, I just don't know. I think I'll just be fine with what I got for right now. It's not like we have an absolutely huge map where I need to take hundreds and hundreds of loads from point A to point B because I have a super small trailer. It's just not the case for this map here. So uh, I'm feeling okay with what I got and what I got is going to end up working. Um, who knows? Who knows? But we will probably end up seeing some newer machinery coming out onto the farm here eventually here. Uh, as for what, I don't know, but uh, like I've been talking about, I want to get I want to get a different tractor. I want to get new tractors or at least another new tractor, uh, one with a little bit more horsepower, some implements that I might be able to jack up to a higher horsepower. Or I should say an implement that I can utilize a higher horsepower tractor for. Um, I'd like to get some of that stuff here, but as of right now, I think we're doing pretty good. One thing I don't think I will have is I don't think I'll ever have more than three tractors on this map. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I don't think I'll have any more than three tractors at one time on this map. I don't think. Doesn't mean that it won't happen. Long story short, I think that trailer that I got right now... <laughs> will probably be the one that I stick with for a little bit longer. I just don't see a need for the other one. Um, like I said, other than going ahead and using my car to be able to transfer stuff around, or my tractor to be able to, not my tractor, my truck that I got, my Renault, the Loch Ness Mobile. I just don't see any reason for it right now. Um, potentially, though. Potentially. Actually, let's go, you know what? Let's do this right here. Let's do this right here. I'm not going to buy anything, so don't panic. I'm not going to buy anything. But looking at the trailers here, um, like this is this, this might be something that I can go with. It's it's obviously smaller than what I got right now, but it's something I can go with because it has the two, the, the, the front and the back wheel. It's not like this where they're bunched together. That's obviously just way too small. Um, so somewhere in here might be something that we're looking at. Let's see what we got back here because I don't remember what we necessarily have. Now, I think this was one of the ones that we did try, and it just wasn't working out. I mean, this is the one that that allows me to get up pretty darn high. It has an 11.6 ton capacity. That's only 1.6, and I think that's the biggest issue with a lot of these cheaper trailers that I got. They just, they just don't have the capability of holding too much. This one does. Oh, wait a minute. This one does. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. It That's weird, though, because it only has a 8 meter. That's 4 meter. That's, uh, but it, uh, it can actually hold an absolute ton. So you could probably fill that thing all the way up to the 8 meters. Hmm. 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 And that's that guy. This would be his little brother version, which that might be something that we could actually go about doing. Standard grain slide. Well, there's really not much to that. Well, I don't know. Long, again, long story short, I'm going to keep my eyes open. I'm going to see what uh, what's available. Uh, if you guys can, help me out. Comment down below. Do you guys know of any trailers that would kind of have a little bit larger capacity that's not super big? And I'm not looking for... Uh, any of the Unreal mods or anything like that. I'm looking for something that's a little bit more realistic. So if you guys guys can, comment down below. Let me know what you guys know of. If there's something out there, am I missing something? Let me know. Um, I really would appreciate it. I think when I'm going to see you guys next at this point here, it's going to be tomorrow. Oh, no, I did that contract. Let's, let's collect that right away. I forgot about that. I was going to say, oh my gosh, I completely forgot to do that. But we got it. So there's 1500 bucks that takes care of some of my helpers that I've used throughout the day. Perfect. Uh, like I was going to say here, I'm probably not going to see you guys until tomorrow morning. At least I'm not entirely sure when, but uh, it, it'll, it'll be tomorrow. That I know for sure. All right.
right, got that all taken care of, loaded up. Not a lot. I know, it's not a lot of moonshine. It's only 1,400 liters, but I tell you what, guys, the price is high. The price is as high as it's going to get for moonshine, so let's go ahead and close that. Maybe, there we go. I couldn't remember how to do that. Um, yep, it's all ready to go, ready to rock. I mean, I really wanted to go ahead and take the moonshine off and sell it at night, be like a an old moonshine runner running at night in the moonlight. Gotta love it, but it's just... Uh, the price is good right now. And let's face it, it if it's good right now, that's, that's what I'm going to go about doing. Um, like I said, it is the best it's going to end up getting. I think it's around four and a half thousand dollars I want to say right now so we're gonna rock and roll and get get this all sold off um, I have all my equipment set up down at the small field over there and it is ready to harvest so we're gonna get a little bit more corn we're gonna take that corn throw it into the moonshine maker the still whatever you want to call it and and wait and wait for the barley um, it just is what it is. I, the barley's not ready, so I don't... I'm, I'm not going to go ahead and buy some this time. I did that last time. All right, $6,000. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Um, I did actually have to go ahead and unload my all my oat drink, or not my oat drink, my soy drink, so that will end up having to fill up here at some point and take care of, but uh, for now, I think we'll be okay. Get a little jazzy here. Make sure I don't destroy the corner here. Let's close that back up if we're not going to go back there. Um, yeah, so we'll go ahead. We'll get this crop up here all taken care of. The corn completely harvested. Uh, as you can see over here, we're looking pretty darn good right here. Uh, one thing I think I am going to end up doing, though, is... Wait a second. Oh, that's right. I plowed this field. I forgot when you plow the fields, you don't have any uh, any weeds that pop up. I completely forgot about that. So that's awesome. What I was going to say is I was thinking about going ahead, and I've mentioned this in the past, the red tractor I have, the International, that actually has a row cultivator or weeder, however you want to say it, as an attachment that you can get for it. I'm thinking I'm gonna do that, just because the amount of weeds I'm gonna start getting, uh, not really doing as much plowing as I normally would. I'm going to try and do other things. Um, I don't know how you wanna say it. Uh, I'm gonna try and focus on, oops. I'm gonna try and focus on getting my I'm going to do what I can to try and focus on um, using that disc arrow. So, I mean, I'm going to be creating weeds. I'm not going to be using the plow all the time. Obviously, on fields like this where I have the corn, that's going to be a focus of mine. But other than that, I'm not going to be crazy going around plowing absolutely everything. Then you have all the stones. I'm trying to avoid having to get the stones. So, I mean... It is what it is. It's just a thought. I think I might do it. I'm not too sure. I'm going to wait just a little bit longer. The actual uh, weeder, cultivator, whatever it is you want to call it, it actually isn't all that expensive, so it might be an actual option for us moving forward, but again, I'm not 100% sure. But I'm going to go ahead here. I'm going to keep on rocking with this for just a little bit. I got something else I got to take care of as well, so... I'm actually going to cut out on you here. I know this wasn't long, but just give me a second. I got something else I want to take a peek at. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging tight for just a second there. Like I said, I had to check something out. Um, that area up by the farm. Uh, like I said, there, I have an idea for up there, and I could not remember if I could take care of what I wanted to right now, so I do apologize. Not quite yet. I'm, we're getting close. 
we're getting close to being able to do what I'd like to do up there. So bear with me, guys. It's going to be another little surprise. Uh, for the time being, we're just going to continue to be, I guess, uh, a little corny. I know. I know. Sometimes it happens by accident. Sometimes it's on purpose. But uh, every time it happens, uh, it is what it is. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing what we end up getting off of all this. I wanted to go ahead and do something a little different on this field. Uh, if you remember, I was going to do sunflower seeds. Or not sunflower seeds, but plant sunflowers to get sunflower seeds. But I decided to pass on it and go with the corn. All for the moonshine. So this right here is like our first... Our first nod. Our, our first efforts for moonshine. Now, like I said, I did end up going ahead uh, way back then... And I did buy some of the, the products just to kind of get things rocking, get things rolling, see how things would end up. I didn't get all that much, and I didn't end up with a lot of moonshine. But I think I actually did end up making, uh, I'd, I'd say I think I, I'm ahead on everything. If you go ahead, you count the numbers, count the cards, however, however you want to look at it. I think ultimately by going ahead and doing moonshine, taking the corn, making the moonshine and now i'm going to be taking barley to making the moonshine um i think all in all we're going to end up ahead on things i could be wrong but i think we're going to end up ahead on things um especially when you compare it to the price we could be getting all this stuff at i think that's the only iffy thing that we i'd have to actually run the numbers to see if we're actually making uh, making a headway or anything like that with all this stuff. But I think we're going to be doing pretty good. If not, who cares? We're making moonshine. And that's the best part about it. Making moonshine with our corn and soon to be barley. The only thing we'll have to do is go ahead and grab some grapes. Because I'm not planting any grapes. Oh man, those are super, super expensive. I don't remember who it was, but I was watching somebody a while ago when fs22 came out just to see how all the crops vary and grapes and olives are the most expensive bar none just because you have to pay so darn much just to get the vines installed if they're already in on a map ooh, hot dog you're ready to rock you're ready to roll you're going to be absolutely fine if you have to go ahead and put them in yourself ooh, you better be rich and you better be playing the game for lots and lots of years in game because otherwise you're never going to make yourself back. Oh, that's just what it is. But if you guys are liking what you're hearing, liking what you're seeing, go ahead and smash that like button. Go ahead and hit that subscription. It really does help out a ton. Share this with somebody who likes corn. Son of a gun, you know who they are you know who they are hit that notification bell have it set to all and on that way you know when this and other great videos are coming out by myself and until i see you again next time thanks for being patient and thanks for stopping by